Just as an intro to this word, I feel strongly that 2021 has been a year of stealthy launching that many haven't even realized yet. On the surface it's felt like endless chaos, fires to fight, and complications to solve. It's been fears to extinguish, changes to navigate, and foundations to fix. It's felt like there's been little room for new creativity, innovation, and advancement. It's felt like there's been little capacity to think of stepping into new ventures or launching ministries and movements, but yet God has used this year in a way you couldn't have imagined, to do those very things, to recalibrate us and set our feet on a new path and trajectory and lead us to our promised land. Enjoy. I need to encourage those who have made a significant detour this year and are still trying to figure it out. At first it just felt like a discontent, like in an instant God just removed the joy or grace from a particular way you were going. It took you by surprise and even made you question your heart, your motives, but now you have come to know, it was actually God who was doing something deep in your life. You felt like a train that departed the track you were always going full steam ahead on and began moving into an unknown direction. You left behind the favor, the opportunities, and the fruit you knew you would see if you had continued in that way. You left behind the alignments, the connections, and the open doors that were there for you, but God was leading you in another way, to different doors you couldn't see, people you hadn't met, and rivers and streams you hadn't crossed. You let go of the dreams and desires you had been working so hard in fulfilling. In a moment you gave them away, because the call to this new way has felt so compelling. It's been a dichotomy, because this faith decision has felt like handing in all your chips with no promise of any outcome except knowing you are moving where your spirit is leading you. In fact, since you made this decision, it's only brought chaos, mess, confusion, and extreme hardship in many of the areas you were once settled in. Oh, pioneer of his heart. I feel your season, I feel your pain and loss, I feel the heart gymnastics this season has been. I feel your courage. I feel your fire. And I feel his joy and excitement for you because you have not yet seen where this is going, but soon you will. This detour has cost you everything, but you knew that continuing the way you were going would have cost you even more your joy, your purpose, and integrity. You detoured because his voice led you that way. You detoured because you chase his heart not ministry ideals. You detoured because you had to follow where he was going above all else. You detoured because it was your worship to go where few would say yes to go. Grace for those who don't understand. You keep seeing those in your previous path prospering and somehow having the grace to do what you no longer did, and it hurts, but they are in a different season to you. You pioneered the road they are now on, they just don't know it. So let go of their judgments and words. Your new assignment is this path you are carving with the Lord. Keep your heart clear of offense and bless them because your new tribe you will find need you whole. You need to be free from every weight and past season of hurt and betrayal. The reviving kiss. The impossibilities have been stacked against you on this journey. It's been an army of blocking, delaying, frustrating demons that were sent to frustrate you from the moment you stepped out. The Prince of Persia stood guard over your coming door of destiny and vowed you would not enter it, but they have been misinformed about you. They have underestimated what God placed inside of you. When the Lord gave me this word, I saw a strange vision of people in a battlefield who had their armor stripped from them like their enemy had sought not only to defeat them, but also shame them and expose them. These were the pioneers who stepped into unfamiliar territory and have never felt more attacked and ambushed in their lives. It's also felt like a very low season of having things stripped from them. They have felt very exposed, tired, and even questioning God. I asked the Lord why this was happening. I didn't understand, and I heard the Lord say my people are learning to wield new swords and apply new strategies. This new path was the invitation to new territory that had never been contested, and they had to learn new strategies of warfare and learn new depths of identity. The mental warfare of this new path has been unlike anything these pioneers have experienced, but watch as God also comes in stronger to affirm you and strengthen you in this time. Survival has to end here. Then I heard the Lord say send a message to the fallen ones, I'm standing them to their feet again. Mighty ones, dust yourself off because we are going to finish this together. I will revive you with my kiss and you will come alive again. 
You have been in Mara, bitter waters, and have trudged through the long and hard season of Egypt, but I am leading you out. But you must lay down your survival mindset. You have been living without the joy and adventure you need to truly pioneer and break into new ground. You can't create like that. You can't dream like that, so lay it down and give it me. This is where your heart needs to come back to life if you are to embrace what I am leading you into that is why I have placed a pause over you so that you could surrender the knapsack of the bitter season. You can't carry Egypt with you, and I can't let you or it will poison your tomorrow. This is where you need to trust me in the details of this transition. You don't need to be in damage control anymore, but prioritize my presence, and you'll live in wonder again. The birthing in the chaos, the greatest setup in the storm. Pioneers you will look back at this season not as the season you crumbled and died in the greatest battle and trial of your life, but you will look back soon and see the silver lining you didn't see before, that this chaos season was actually your greatest setup season. You'll realize it actually advanced you. It shifted you into position. It delivered you. Freed you. Cut every string around you. Severed every tie. Loosed every demonic thread and debris from the past. And initiated you into an era of wholeness. Soon you'll see that the chaos was the grit and dirt and mud needed to reveal what only conflict can reveal. Soon you'll see that God used this season to birth what has been kept hidden and launched what you couldn't do in your own strength. The way, the way, the way is opening up. I hear the Lord saying look, the way, the way, the way is opening up for you where there seemed to be no way. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me John 14 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life and I am your breaker in this season who is charging on before you to clear the road and lead you into your promised land. The one who breaks open the way will go up before them, they will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord at their head. Micah 2.13 I am leveling mountains and making your path straight. I am unlocking what has been closed and clearing a path through the messiest of situations. I will march out in front of you and level every obstacle. I will shatter to pieces bronze doors and slice through iron bars Isaiah 45 2. The way that is opening is not the way you expected. I am leading you to a way that at first won't make sense as it's not on your radar, but my way will lead you into life again. Look for the dots that are connecting in the next 60 days. This detour is taking you to your promised land. It's leading you out of the valleys and fire and flood to the place of milk and honey. The enemy told you to get used to this extreme hardship, but you are just passing through. In the next 60 days keep your eyes open for signs and confirmations, and new clues that will lead you into these new routes you didn't see before. Expect to be led in the unexpected way, and don't write off the leading of the Spirit in avenues and directions that are outside of your picture. Look for the connections and dots to connect and pieces to come together where they have been in disarray. The assignment sent to keep you in limbo, in indecisiveness, apathy, hopelessness, and disconnect is breaking in Jesus' name.